That's farmer friend singer-songwriter Lyle Strickland. And that's farmer friend and jack-of-all-trades Chris Horn. And we're Those Those Taste Bud Guys. (laughs) So we'll no longer have the spinny thing? Man, it might be a real quick spinny thing. Just like a one twist and done. Hear that? We're gonna change intro, mm. and then it's gonna be different. It won't be a spinny thing, or maybe it'll just be one spin, or maybe it'll just fall, or maybe it'll just be like, <laughs> "Hey guys, welcome back! Thanks for joining us one more time." I'm Chris. That's Lyle. Where are those taste bud guys? I shouldn't have said that. So, huh? Well, one of those taste bud guys. Blah, blah, blah. That wasn't how I meant it, but we just got through eating Chinese food, and I'm so full I can't even hardly breathe. Yeah, it is. I am. Rather stuffed. I am, I am. So all the more reason for tequila. Yeah. First, before you open that, let me oh. talk just a second and say, hey, if you get a chance, go over and check out. Don't forget to check out our friends over at Hocha Town. Um, they've got some good stuff over there. We got some new stuff. An uh, episode. It may you may have already been up by the time you get this episode up, but the vodka. If you haven't already seen it, go find it. Uh, it's some good stuff. Blue is on here talking about it with us. Um, I think it might be the first yeah. vodka that we actually liked, you know? It'd be my second, but yes. Yeah. But man, that's what I said the point. We're doing tequila today, oh, but I just tequila. wanted to, you know, fulfill our, our contractual obligations by saying, hey, uh-huh. Hotchtown's yes. good. Hotchtown's good, even better, because when I say it right, they don't yell at me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> don't yell at me. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, I'll never get so the name right. So we're going to go back to Cimarron, and I... Did this have one of those things inside of it that you... I don't think so. Out of it. I don't think so. I was gonna taste like your finger though, <laughs> but I like that like, noise. My finger tastes good. <laughs> um, this yeah, my finger tastes like is evil. is back on the show uh, because we had the reposado quite a while ago. You picked up the bottle of the reposado, I believe, in Louisiana. It kind of a steal at like twenty bucks, something like that. Yeah, eighteen hundred dollars. As really far good. as I know, it's an additive-free tequila. Um, Lots of good things going for it. We had a comment, uh, and I should have actually probably realized who that was, but asked if we had had the Blanca. We had not, and I saw the Blanca, picked it up, and this is it. We may or may not have had this. Yeah, it was a fun night. But you know what? <laughs> I want to get it out of the way and see if it works right now. Uh, does it work? Yeah. It... Oh, it did. It did. Look at ah. that. Hey, I'll cut to that camera. Yeah, that one. Maybe. No, I noticed the last episode, we both held bottles up two or three times, and you never went to it. I'm like, no. Oh, I got lazy. I got really way to edit, Lyle. I got lazy, you know? <laughs> Tired. It's that AI editing. <laughs> All right. I can smell the cheese whiz notes from here. I don't even have to get my nose near it. Yeah. We got some uh, Cheetos going on for sure. Which I consider to be a good thing. I know it's not your favorite quality, but I tend to like lean towards that as a mark of like, ooh, this is a real tequila. I actually agree with you, even if it's not the tequilas I always love. It's usually is indica- indicative of a uh, decent. Like it's still pretty clean though, and I, it's been a long time. I guess we should talk about. That. I say cheese whiz. I guess we should talk about that note just there's, a little bit. Yeah. So there's a sharp. Um, it does smell a bit cheesy to me. It's where the cheese whiz note come from. <laughs> we all had like Those beautiful cheetos. tasting notes for, I think it was the number one Blanco. Um, beautiful, beautiful notes tasting, oh, vanilla and mm, sunshine and rainbows. And Chris goes, cheese whiz or Cheetos or I can't remember what it was. Cheese whiz. Cheese whiz. Yeah, canned cheese whiz. But I could not, I couldn't smell anything <laughs> else for the rest of the day. And, and it's become a, a, a staple. So when we say cheese whiz, it's really, it's just talking about a sharpness. It's an herbal note, but it's a very sharp, high pitched note um, that maybe even comes wrong with just a twist of funk to it. But uh, yeah, it's there. It tends to be on most of the tequilas that uh, are Fairly natural. Yeah, don't so, have a lot of syrup. Yeah, it's different. not. It tends to be a not sweet note. So now, on the taste though, it's pretty clean. It's good to kill. It just disappears on the back end. Yeah, uh, and again, I think you said it was the blanco, but if we meant, if failed to mention that it is the blanco, this is a very clean base level tequila. Yeah, that is not expensive. This is on par with Cuervo. Uh, yeah, I think I paid 
35 for the snow. Yeah, so. But you got it for 20, so it's out. Yeah, but that's, yeah, 20, 18 to 22. I'm yeah. gonna just play it safe and say something like that. But even Cuervo now is what, 23, $4, yeah. I think. It, yeah. At our local store, you probably could get it cheaper to get the box store or something. And it's a mixed dough, right? Yeah. So like gold is, at least. Yeah. Um, so we're in a price range. You're gonna stay pay a little bit more for this. Um, the only thing I would say, maybe otherwise, maybe the the Cuervo or the Traditional, mm -hmm. that one still falls under this one barely. Um, and but I think this is that, but quite a bit better. Um, I've been a fan of this. Think it's better than Traditional? I think so. I think okay. so. Just a just a smidge, if nothing else. I would argue with you over it. I think you're. If nothing else, I like the label. You know, I like the bottle. Uh, and that's enough to push me over the edge. See, now that is the one thing I don't care for about it. You don't I'm, like I'm not a fan of that labeling in tequila, at least. Mm -hmm. I can see how I could probably maybe like something similar to that for in a bourbon. There might be some cool similarities <laughs> that I might really like. Oh, but, I, but I know this, this, for me, in the bourbon, it's like catchy and flaring. This is one of my favorite looking labels. Uh -huh. I told Blue that it's just, it's awesome artwork. Um, in this, I'm not saying it's bad artwork. It doesn't jump out. It does. It seems plain and boring. Yeah. It literally, I, it, at this point, you could have handwritten a piece of white paper on the front of it and achieved the same thing for me. See, and it's got a screw cap on top of that. I don't like the screw cap, but it reminds me of ye old Mexico. Um, you know, just sort of like a old west style situation. Which so yeah, no, like it definitely does that. Um, but all in all, wait, I don't think, wait, do we actually do tasting notes on this? I always start to, and I totally <laughs> derailed it by talking about something else on the cheese notes. So, um, it's got a nice sweet flavor to it. I was going to say, I mean, I don't like... mean syrupy sweet. I mean, nice sweet. It feels very natural. It feels just like a, a herbal. Like um, rock candy, kind of. Like that level of sweet. Okay, yeah, a little bit. Because it's not like, it's like sugar, but it's not. Just like getting a spoonful of sugar, you kind of got like yeah, lick it off a little bit. And it does. Oh, something's wrong with your lights, flashing and flashing. Start pulsing when you start talking about licking it off. I do. <laughs> I don't most things. So <laughs> it it does have a nice um, little twist on the end of it where it gives it this little bit of like oh by the way I'm still a little hot and it's stabbing yeah. just a smidge on the end. Yeah, there's some pepper in there. But it's nice. I actually, I legit like this one, as you can tell from how much we drink out of it between now and a week and a half ago. I think this is also super versatile, um, just straight, neat by itself. Um, if you put a lime in it, it's going to push it more towards that sharp citrus side. If you put an orange in it, it's going to bring up those sweet notes. I mean, you could just do so many things with this. You want to take an extra, like, uh, two and a half minutes, grab the Reposado and do it side by side? Sure, let's do it. All right. Well, I was just going to strain this one and fill it. But okay, okay, well, we, we could get new glasses. Well, that's fine. We have a sink now. Ah! We can watch, watch our, dry, our live episode that we're going to record right after this, but it'll release way before this gets put out. Um, you'll even probably get to see it. We'll make sure we share the sink. So go back and find that live episode for... What day is this? Uh, Tuesday. So oh, today's the 16th. Tuesday. <laughs> May 16th. May 16th. <laughs> Good God. So the repo doesn't have that that cheesy note, which kind of makes sense. It's it does it. It's got a bit of more of a uh, alcohol and honey note in it. Yeah. So it's rested. It's resolved its uh, family issues. <laughs> a little more laid back. This one's a little more pissed off still. Oh, a lot more laid back. Yeah. It's been a fair minute since I've had that, but wow. Now that's interesting. Whereas I do like that it's good. Coming off of this one, I actually like the Blanco better. I'm with you. Uh, the Blanco is a fuller flavor. It's It's got more going on, more to talk about. It's got a nicer sweet note. Whereas this almost seems like it's uh, the wood's taking something away from it. Yeah, I think you're right. Um, that's interesting. I almost always like Reposados better. That's, that's very cool. But this one's still, the Repo, still really clean. It is. And just sort of melts. And it's just, yeah, it could use a little more punch, maybe. Yeah, it's, it's, it almost feels watered down. Thinner. It's missing, you thinner. There yeah. you go. Yeah, 100%. so there you go. Uh, go 
get yourself a bottle of this. If you haven't had this, this is a great one to have on your shelf, uh, I think, and, and a good mixer, and like I said, just utilitarian um, bottle that, my God, you, you know, staple, daily drinker. I for once agree with you. Oh! I think uh, uh, it has a lot of the things. I'm sure one of us likes it a little better or worse than the other one, but in general, if you both agree on it, I think you could safely say it's probably got some okay qualities to it. And you might want to give this one a chance, see if you uh, agree with us. If you do or if you don't, put some comments down below. Let us know. Um, tell us what you'd like us to drink. If uh, this isn't your favorite, tell us what is, which is why we ended up with this bottle. Exactly. So, yeah. Straight from the nice. YouTube comment section. Yeah. Until next time. Whether it be the tequilas, tequili, mm -hmm. is, is it like you plural the I as tequilis? Tequili? I, no, surely. Just tequilas? Just te tequilas, I think, right? With a U.S. tequilas yeah. you're drinking. What do you call a, like a, a big, large group of tequilas? Does it have a special name? A gaggle? Vlock? Probably, probably like a garden of, mm -hmm. it's a garden of tequila. Uh, the people you're meeting, close your wear, grab a buddy and try something new. I messed up my lines. <laughs> Didn't even have to do it for you. <laughs> hey guys, uh, if you like what we're doing and you've got a really terrible joke you want to tell us, like the one I just told them right before you got to see this, uh, comment down below. Uh, like and subscribe for goodness sakes watch some of these episodes we have going on down there and don't forget to go over and check out our friends over at Hochi Town. Try them out. It's actually good. It's delicious. Cheers. <laughs>